Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to Garden Paws. We've played the demo of Garden Paws on this channel before, but this is the alpha release. This has been out for a couple of weeks now, but I haven't had the chance to try it out until just now, and they actually just added a brand new update to the alpha version too. Apparently, there is some brand new Halloween features included, some new costumes for us to get, a brand new island to explore, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what all that's about. But of course, the alpha version of the game has introduced quite a few new features in general. I believe now we can actually tame a few animals around the world, so I'm really, really excited to give it a try. Now we do have access to our old save files from the demo version of the game, but I wanted to start on the screen so you guys can see the new character creation. They have locked some skins now, so we need to do quests and whatnot to unlock them for our characters, and I think that's why they've given us this purple skin instead. But honestly, it looks so, so cute. We still have our little striped hat, we still have our satchel, so I am quite pleased with this little kitty. But I wanted to see if maybe we could see the new character. Yes, the fox. Oh, they added the fox to the alpha release of the game, and look how adorable he is. Oh my goodness, and they have tons of different faces too. I'm not sure if we ever explored the faces. Oh dear, that is not a good look for you, Mr. Fox. Okay, some of the faces do not work on the Fox model, that's for sure. Oh, but that one is so sweet. Oh, that is adorable. I wonder if we should change around our cat's face? Let's see, is there any way for us to edit that? No, that's just for our character's name. Alright, so maybe our little kitty is going to have to stay this way for now, but that's perfectly fine. She is adorable the way that she is. So let's go ahead and jump into our world again. It looks like we're jumping into the 20th of spring. Hopefully everything is still going to be there. I haven't loaded it up yet to be sure, but I did make sure that we at least had our save files to work with. So fingers crossed, everything in the shop is going to be the same. Here we go. Oh dear, a little bit of lag there. But it looks like our shop is still here. We still have our eggs, our poop, of course, and many, many flowers. Oh, and it looks like a lot of our flowers have grown in the back of our house, too, and our wheat. Oh, yes! Look at all this wheat that we have to harvest. Oh, this is perfect. I know that we have quite a few chickens waiting to be fed, so we shouldn't be running out of bird seed anytime soon. Now, I think I saw that we had a couple of letters inside our mailbox. And is somebody waiting in front of our house? Hello? Oh, Charlie! Do you have a quest for us? The stray cat? I was out patrolling and saw a cat all by itself on top of the hill near your home. If you build it a nice home, maybe it'll come down and stop meowing up there. Try talking to Frank about how to build a cat home. Well, yes, we will certainly accept that, Charlie. I know exactly what cat he's talking about, too. That was actually one of the very first animals that we found. It's right over by that big tree on top of that hill, I believe, so we'll have to go pay them a visit. But yeah, let's see what's inside our mailbox. Maybe this will give us a little clue about the Halloween items. Oh my goodness! Look at all these letters we have to read! It looks like Beltran may have sent us a package of some sort with a silver pickaxe inside. I had an extra pickaxe. Here you go. Come and chat when you're in town. Sincerely from Beltran. Wow, that's awfully nice of him. I think we already have that though. Wait a second, is that the exact same pickaxe that we already made? Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Well, Beltran was the blacksmith in town, I believe, so it's nice to know that he'll give us a couple of tools. Now, a thorny situation from Frank. I wonder if perhaps this is about those thorns that we saw in the middle of the world. Notice those thorn bushes too, huh? We've been working on getting them removed, but let's be frank, we don't have the equipment we need yet. I think I have an idea though. Come over and we can discuss it. From Frank yet again. We're going to have quite a bit to talk to Frank about, it seems. Oh, and taming bunnies. Yes, this is the other animal that we can actually tame. So we have cats and bunnies now that we can make homes for. Hey, neighbor. I saw you raising some nice-looking chicks. Did you know that you can also befriend the animals in these parts? If you'd like, I can teach you how to tame a bunny. Come see me when you would like to learn. From Thorn. Oh, I'm sure that has something to do with all of those carrots that he has by his home, of course. Now we have another letter from Kieran. Ooh, was that that bear that was living out in the woods? 
wonder if you want to help me out. I'm Kieran, and I've found the perfect spot to set up a campsite to get some visitors in the area, but I need the area cleaned up a bit. Meet me at my cabin tomorrow behind the waterfall, and we can get started. Yes, Kieran the Littering Bear. I remember him quite well. We actually have some of his trash right inside our chest over here. Welcome to Florence. Our town is small for now, but with your help, we will grow. There are people wanting to join our town every day, but we need houses and shops for them first. Everyone is excited to meet you. We hope you enjoy your time here from Mayor Wilson. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. We still haven't even met this guy yet, but it's nice to know that we have some more neighbors on the way. So, unfortunately, that didn't tell us how we're going to actually experience all of this new Halloween content. But maybe if we open up our map, Ooh, this looks different. Is this actually a little bit bigger? It looks like there are quite a few new people out here, too. Captain Conrad? He might be a new person. Maybe we should go see Captain Conrad to see if he can sail us to the new island. After we pick all of our flowers, of course. Gotta have priorities. We just have a couple of seeds left over that we can water. Though I'm not sure if that glitch is still in play over here. I noticed that a few of these mounds didn't have any wheat in them, but I'm not sure if that means that we planted something here instead. So just to be safe, I'm going to make sure that every last place is watered. That way we won't be losing any of our flowers anytime soon. We might as well restock this place too. If we have any more daisies that we can add. It looks like we might not actually have enough space. Okay, so let's just plop it inside our flower storage container for now. Our purple cosmos are many, many cabbages. Oh, we had the cabbages for Alberto, that's right. Okay, so those are going to stay tucked away inside our backpack, but all of these can find a home inside the storage container instead. Oh, and of course, we cannot forget to go feed our little baby chicks. Oh, I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. Oh, they all look so adorable. Oh, did one of our chicks actually grow? We only had two fully grown chickens previously, right? Ooh, that means that we could actually sell one of our chickens too. Technically sell them anyways. I guess we should say that we're adopting them out. That was the plan, to come up with a big chicken adoption agency for all of the other animals around town. And you know, I feel like we actually need a chest next to that area too. Maybe we'll have to see if we can build a chest from our workbench and we'll put it right next to our chicken coop so we can store our bird feed inside. And then there is the situation with our extra pickaxe. Oh no, it looks like those are different. Okay, so he gave us a slightly upgraded pickaxe instead. Well, I guess we'll pop this inside the chest for now. Maybe we could put that up for sale in case anybody else wants to do a little bit of mining for Beltran too. But let's go straight to Frank first. I want to see if he can tell us any more information about this cat, and that's about the location where the captain is supposed to be too. Actually, it looks like quite a bit has changed about the world. I definitely see a brand new structure out there right next to Frank's house. That has to be where the captain is. Yes, I can see him. Oh, and he's a fox? Well, technically he looks like a little red panda. Oh, Captain Conrad, you are adorable. Hey, I'm Conrad. I'm the captain of that fine vessel floating on the docks. While you're here, could you tell Frank his order is ready to be picked up? I guess he'll give us a little bit of wood if we do. Well, good thing we stopped to talk to Captain Conrad first, then. I don't see his boat, though. Where is your boat, Captain? Were you lying to me? Oh, Captain Conrad is already proving himself to be a very sneaky individual. Oh, Charlie, hello. It looks like you might have another quest for us, too. Oh my gosh, everybody has a new quest. Oh, our poor little kitty is going to be so, so busy. Oh, we're just meeting all the people around town. Okay. Talk to Charlie. Hello, I'm Charlie. I keep the citizens of Florence safe. Oh my gosh, is he like their little scout or something? Do we have to accept this again? Don't worry, I've got your back. All right, so that completes the quest. Well, we might as well talk to you too then as we're going over to Frank's. Hello, Jenna. Hello, I'm Jenna. I run the lemonade stand. When you're low on energy, come see me. Oh, that's how we increase our energy. I was always wondering, because there were a couple of times where our poor little kitty was just too tired to go on. All we had to do was come over here and shop at Jenna's lemonade stand. Oh 
my gosh, did she give us some lemonade? We could come over here by the benches and just laze the day away, sipping our lemonade. Oh, that is adorable. It didn't give us a very much of an energy boost, but I think we're definitely going to be back in the future, Jenna. I still don't really know how we can grow our own lemonade trees, or not lemonade trees, oh my gosh, our own lemon trees. So Jenna has that part of the market cornered at the moment. But Frank, we have so much to talk to you about. It looks like the first quest is the one for Conrad, so let's go ahead and complete that one. That gives us a little bit of what? Oh, we have to meet Frank too. I guess because we're starting this new version of the game, they want us to meet all the animals again. Hey, I'm Frank. I manage all the construction work in town. Also, if you ever need to purchase stone or wood, come see me. Excellent, Frank. And this one is for all the upgrades. We've already purchased quite a few upgrades from your little work table, so I don't think we need a refresher on that. This one is about the stray cat. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. I think I've got a cat home blueprint somewhere around here. I'll dig around for it. Come see me tomorrow. Alright, so we can't actually make a home for the cat until the next day, but I wonder if he has anything new here. The miner camp was something that we saw before. Shop 3, the wheat farmer. Oh, a flower shop? A new building to bring a flower merchant to town. Shop to purchase flowers. Oh, I wonder if that would be seeds? Or just the actual flowers themselves? It looks like we can get plenty of strawberries there too. Oh, I can't wait to see who's going to run the flower shop. We've seen the costume shop before. Oh, there's a bakery now, a fisherman, an appearance shop. A shop to purchase changes to your appearance. That must be like the expressions and stuff. Oh, there's so many new things for us to explore now. Which one would you guys want to see first? I'm quite partial to any building that's going to give us a brand new animal to meet because I love all the different villagers around this town. They are so, so cute. Let's go talk to Malu next. Ooh, are you wearing a new outfit? Oh, she has a little dress on. Hey, I'm Malu. I run the fabric and dye shop here. Excellent, you actually have dyes too. And she's giving us a little bit of cloth as well. It looks like right now she's only selling the cloth. But I wonder if we'll be able to, like, dye clothes and whatnot if we have the ties to work with. Very, very interesting. And of course, the cabbage patch belongs to this kitty over here, Abby. Hi there, I'm Abby. I run the cabbage shop. Come see me for all of your cabbage needs. Looks like she might be giving us some cabbage seeds for talking to her. We have the chest guy over here too, Boris. He's the one who helps us with expanding our inventory. Hey, I'm Boris. My brother is Clovis. I can solve all of your storage needs. From backpacks to chests, we have them both. Who's Clovis, though? I don't think we've met him yet. I'm not sure if he's even around town. I don't remember seeing a Clovis before. When we get a costume shop built in town, you'll be able to meet Clovis, my brother. See you around. Okay, so once we finally build that thing, I guess we'll have the entire bear family here. Oh, that's exciting, too. Now, this house is definitely new. This was certainly not here in the middle of town before, but it looks like nobody's living there yet. But we do have Beltran. We still need some materials to craft tools to remove the thorns. I sent you a pickaxe through the mail so you can mine for silver to replace my pickaxe. Come talk to me when you get ten geodes. Oh, the geodes again. Well, it sounds like this time the geodes are actually going to have some more important things for us. Last time, every single time I cracked open the geodes, all I received was one tiny piece of stone, so it was very, very disappointing. Thanks for commissioning this building. As thanks, I can teach you how to craft a workbench. Come back when you have 40 wood gathered. You can gather some off the ground or cut down a tree after crafting an axe. Well, that must have changed from the demo, because we definitely already have a workbench. I'm pretty sure you could craft it from day one, too. So I guess you have to have Beltran's help now. But what's that house on the hill? I don't remember seeing this thing up here either. It looks like it's another empty home, unfortunately. But there is certainly a lot of space here for all sorts of different animals. I wonder if eventually all of these houses are going to be filled with new neighbors. It's going to be pretty fun. Now I know that Alberto lives on top of that hill. So since we have to go give him his cabbages anyway, let's go up there next. 
Oh, and of course, we have to go see Sammy. He's probably still waiting at his shop, waiting for customers. Hello, Alberto. We really enjoyed your glider. Oh, I wonder if we still have that? Surely we must. Let's see if it's still in our inventory. Yeah, the basic glider is there. So maybe we could glide all the way to Sammy's house. Let's see if anything has changed about this. Oh, I love this thing. Yes, gliding all the way over to the bridge at least. Good thing the bridges are still here. It's definitely quite a bit easier for us to get to Sammy's when we have this to use instead. Hello, Sammy. Ooh, you've upgraded your shop. Look at all those giant flowers. Hey there, I'm Sammy. I run a small flower shop here on the island. Make sure to check in every now and then. My stock changes quite frequently. Oh, and he gave us some dandelion seeds too. That's cute. Thank you, Sammy. It looks like you might have another quest. Thanks again for building those bridges. Now I can build a wagon to get around. I'm not so great with an axe though. Could you bring me six wooden boards to get started? Oh my gosh, he's going to take his shop on the road? Oh, I can't wait to see that, Sammy. It might take a little while, though, because we actually have quite a few requests for wood right now. I'm not sure if we have any stored away. I know that I made the wood storage container, so we might not have to chop down too many of these trees to get what we need. Let's go see how much I still have stashed away. Here we are. The wood storage. Oh my goodness, we have plenty. We don't need any extra wood for Beltran. Technically, we don't really need to complete that quest either, but I suppose we might as well. It might give us something new in the end. There is so much for us to do right now. There is so much for us to take care of, so many animals to meet. We haven't even seen a glimpse of the Halloween stuff yet. Where do you think we would go for that? They said it's supposed to be a brand new island. And since Captain Conrad does supposedly have some sort of ship, I'm assuming that he would probably ferry us there. Well, let's go ahead and deliver all of this wood to Beltran, and then I suppose we'll talk to the farmers along the way. Mr. Mooney and his competition should be right over here. Oh, I wonder if their farms have changed any. And if you didn't know about the thorns, that's what this area is right behind us. The thorns are blocking off some sort of shrine, it seems, so I'm super excited to see what's going to be inside there. It sounds like as soon as we finish all of Beltran's quests, we might actually be able to go explore it. We tried flying over it previously with our glider, but to no avail. The thorns are like a literal barrier. And there's Mr. Mooney. Looks like your shop is still looking all the same. Nothing new here. Hey partner, I'm Mr. Mooney. I run the best farm here in Florence. It looks like he's not going to give us anything extra, but to be honest, we've stolen plenty of his eggs and chicken poop, so I can't blame him for not giving us any freebies. I'm starting a huge expansion to take on raising cows. <gasps> cows? But I'm a bit short on materials. Bring me 50 wheat and I'll pay you well. Ooh, that's a rough one, Mr. Mooney. I mean, I definitely want cows, don't get me wrong. If we can have cows too, I will complete that quest for you for sure. But we kind of need the wheat to feed our baby chicks. Oh, and more poop collector quests? Hey, haven't introduced myself yet. Yes, you have, Mr. Mooney. You literally just did. I'm Mooney. I run the best chicken farm in the lands. I'm running low on poop again. Can you bring me 50 poop this time? Oh, Mr. Mooney, nobody needs that much chicken poop. Seriously, not a single soul needs that much chicken poop for any sort of garden. I wonder what our other resident farmer is going to think of that Mr. Jones. He's actually the one who gave us most of our chickens. Howdy, partner. Welcome to town. I'm Jones, the chicken farmer. Nice to meet you. Oh, and he's giving us a wheat for this. You might just stash that away to give to your competition then. Maybe not the best thing to say right to his face though. Howdy neighbor, have you seen all that wheat that grows past the waterfall? Bring me 10 wheat and I'll show you how you can turn that wheat into bird feed. Wait, didn't he just give us 10 wheat? Could we literally just complete that quest for him right now? Just give him back his own wheat? Alright, I guess that's one way to do it. We already know how to craft that into bird seed of course. I wonder if we couldn't do that until we actually completed that quest. It's a little bit strange because so many things have changed between the demo and the alpha version of the game, so things that we could do before are a little bit harder for us to complete now. 
but at least we have our wood for Beltran. Here you go, little guy. Oh, did we forget to pick up our quest from Abby? It looks like she has something for us. Did you know that you can improve the quality of your soil with some fertilizer? I can teach you how to make some if you'd like. Bring me 10 poop and 20 wheat when you're ready. Oh my gosh, everybody wants the same thing. Between Mr. Mooney and now Abby, how on earth are we going to collect all of that wheat and poop? I mean, at least Beltran is a little bit different. He just wants us to crack open these rocks, I believe. If we use that brand new silver pickaxe... Oh, is that working? It doesn't really seem like it. There we go. I think it was actually hitting this rock instead. Yeah, the hitbox is a little bit off for these rocks, I guess. But we did manage to collect at least one of those geodes. Now we only need nine more to complete this quest. Now, if I remember correctly, the only rocks that will give us geodes are these different darker ones. So we want to search these out instead. Ooh, and that one gave us two. Excellent. So it doesn't look like there are any more of those rocks for us to gather today. It's all just the normal rocks, but I do see a treasure chest up there. Oh my goodness! Oh my poor little kitty! It is much more difficult to get across these tracks than it was before. It looks like she can fall straight through the holes, so we're going to have to be super, super careful. Maybe if we go on the actual track part of it, the metal part, that'll help. We're so close. There we go. Oh, and it's just some daisies and dandelions. That wasn't worth all the parkour. Oh well, I'm sure there will be much, much better treasure chests for us to collect. Maybe even that one up there on top of the little tunnel. I guess we might as well see what the bulletin board quest is for too. Oh, it's for Captain Conrad. Hey, I'm desiring 10 pink leaves for dinner. Thanks from Captain Conrad. We might have those inside our actual shop, so I guess we'll have to go give that a look. But first, let's just see what's at the other end of this tunnel over here. This one is not quite as tricky for us to get to. And it's some purple daisies, okay. So apparently the animals have filled up all of these chests with their flowers again. Well, there's nothing new for us to do with Captain Conrad, right? It doesn't look like he has any new quests for us, just the one for his pink leaves. And I still don't see any sign of that boat that he was talking about. Very, very mysterious. Maybe that's something that we're going to have to wait for in the morning. It seems like a lot of these quests take the extra day to actually activate. We had that experience in the demo too. But we've already completed quite a bit around town. I think most of it was just meeting all the different animals again. And there's still a few more for us to go see. Why don't we go take a quick trip over to Thorns before we end the episode? I feel like at the very least we should go see him, because he's the one who's going to teach us how to tame our first animals. I'm actually glad that Thorn is the one who's going to teach us. I figured he must have a good connection with the bunnies. The bunnies love to hop around his carrot patch, so I'll bet that's what we need to feed them. There he is! I see Thorn in the distance. Ooh, and it looks like there's plenty of carrots for us to scoop up. Don't mind if I do. We can even gain our own seeds to plant in our garden if we pick them up from the wild. So hello, Thorn. What's this about taming bunnies? Interested in taming and raising some bunnies? Bunnies make great additions to any home. To start, you're going to need some carrots. Come see me when you've gathered seven carrots. All right, well, we're already well on our way. I'm guessing that we probably can't steal them from Thorn. Ooh, looks like we can't even get over his fence anymore. Interesting. They must have penned us off so we wouldn't clean out his entire garden. Ooh, wait a second. It looks like there might be somebody new over there too. Oh no, my poor little kitty. I don't want her to run out of energy out here. We probably shouldn't swim that entire way. But I think that's a new animal. Ooh, maybe this is the secret to the Halloween expansion that we've been waiting for. It looks like it might be a fisherman? Robert. Robert the bear. Hey, I'm Robert. My wife is Flo. We keep to ourselves out here. Yeah, this is a nice little secluded part of town, actually. It's a very, very pretty home. Oh, it's you. Try not to make too much noise when you're wandering on the forest. You might scare the wildlife. Yeah, we don't want to scare away all of his precious fish. I wonder if he's actually going to teach us how to fish? 
if we need fish to potentially tame that kitty by our house. Ooh, that's exciting. I wonder if he's going to give us like a fishing rod or something. We better get back home though. It is getting so, so late. I can't remember exactly when our little kitty ends up passing out, but I can't imagine it's going to be too much longer. We are heading in the right direction, right? It's been a while. There we go, I see our house in the distance. I'm kind of bummed that we didn't find any of the new content for the Halloween event, but I'm sure it's gotta be around here somewhere. It must just be because we're scrambling to complete so many of these new quests for the alpha version, but we better have our poor little kitty go to sleep. I think it's about time for us to end this episode anyways, so in the next episode, we'll have quite a bit of collecting on our plate. Oh, lag. Okay, there we go. I think the first priority is going to be finding those carrots for the bunnies. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!